guys, welcome back to another episode of Miss Flips. In today's episode, I'm gonna be walking through this transformation right here, and I'm gonna be showing you guys the step-by-step -step process on how to paint a little bit of a boho styled piece. If you guys remember two weeks ago, I prepped this piece for painting. So now I'm gonna finally show you guys the results from that piece. All right, let's get flipping. All right, guys, so if you guys haven't checked out the video on how I prepped this piece, make sure to head on over to that video. I will make sure to include a link right here for you guys. But in case you forgot or haven't watched it yet, here is a reminder on what we started with. This piece was very scratched up and didn't receive a lot of love in its life or maybe just received a little too much. But here is all the damage that was done to it. The drawers are falling apart, the scratches on the veneer, all that good stuff, which I make sure to repair all of this stuff in the video. So again, make sure to check that out. But the first thing I did was give it a little scuff sand and clear all the areas that I wanted to tape off. And then here was the final result for the uh, prepping part of it. So I'm gonna be leaving part of it bare wood and then another part of it I'm going to be painting with melange paint. And I'm gonna be doing this orange color. I actually used it for a piece prior um, just as you know a little decorative element and I really liked the color so I decided to go ahead and do a little boho look and do some you know natural bare wood and orange bright vibrant colors this look is pretty simple to achieve it doesn't take that much prep work or know-how or anything like that and i wanted to give something that's a little bit more approachable for the beginner furniture flipper the only materials that you're gonna need are a screwdriver sander paintbrush paint and a top coat and honestly those are pretty simple as far as what your furniture flipping career is going to be like these are pretty much the tools that I recommend getting right off the bat when you start furniture flipping. And oh, and tape. Tape is a very useful tool, especially when it comes to painting little intricate things like this. But it is definitely one of the most beginner friendly elements that you can do to make some interest. You know, beginning furniture flipping is really easy to do solid paint colors or, you know, full staining a piece and just to create a little variety and make your pieces stand out compared to other people's pieces. This is a fun and easy way to do that. Painting these little support beams right here isn't necessary really, but it does add a very professional and nice touch when anybody takes out the drawers either to move the piece or to clean it, whatever the case may be. It just gives a nice professional look, so I would highly recommend making sure that every part of the piece that you want to be painted is a nice solid color so that when people do take out the drawers, they see a nice professional finish instead of just like some sloppy kind of half-assed type of thing. I should mention that melange paint is an all-in-one paint and so when you paint with it you don't have to put down a primer or a top coat afterwards and so this makes it really really easy for beginner painters all you have to do is put on three coats of the melange paint three or four I mean or whatever gets you coverage I suppose it's different for each piece but yeah you you just gotta put on the paint and call it a day there's no need to worry about anything like uh, primer or top coat, polyurethane, any of that stuff, so it's really, really easy.
As we begin pulling the tape away, you can see how the bare wood just creates an element of interest and kind of just enhances the look of the piece and adds a really cool, unique element that can set you apart from other furniture flippers that are going to be on Facebook Marketplace. To get a little bit more of a bleached wood effect, I went ahead and got some oxalic, or oxalic acid and spilt it all over the floor and then promptly put it into some water. And you want to use proper safety measures when you are using oxalic acid because it is a pretty hefty chemical that you are working with. So some proper gloves, respirator, and glasses are highly recommended but you just put it in some water and then I mix it in with a little stir stick right here and don't worry, I got that little dirty speck thing out of there. Uh, we we don't want, want that in there. Anyways, so you are going to brush it on to the wood and this is a wood bleacher, so any kind of stain that your wood may have, I highly recommend oxalic acid and then it just gives it a light kind of not whitewashed effect, but just makes it a little bit more neutral colored once it dries. And also once it dries, you want to make sure to wipe off all of the wood with a wet rag that is with just water. Just, yeah, plain old water, just wiping it down, getting all that oxalic acid off. The main reason why I was trying to use oxalic acid was to get rid of this line right here left by that hefty scratch that was there, but unfortunately it didn't get rid of it so I just kind of worked with it and left it as is because I didn't want to sand through the veneer. So I just left it as like a little character piece. Once you've wiped off all the oxalic acid off and made sure that everything's dry, you want to go over the entire surface of a piece with either a polyurethane or a wax or an oil, any sort of top coat that you want to use. I went ahead and used a spray-on polyurethane just to keep it a little bit more accessible for the beginner furniture flipper. And then once everything was all dry, I went ahead and drilled new holes for my new hardware. Unfortunately, the holes were just like literally millimeters to the side of each or like original hole. So it was a little tricky, but you know, we, we eventually got there. Before we move on and show you guys the finished product, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and I hope that you guys found this video useful and very approachable. If you guys want to stay tuned for more videos in the future, make sure to like and subscribe and do all those things so that we can be a happy flippin' family. Anyways, I love you guys and, uh, you know, stay flippin'.